Hey everyone, Nate from Grower's House here. And today, we're going over two products because one is like an industry standard, the Bavita Humidipack, and a new one just came out and people are wondering, which one should I use? What are the benefits? What are the drawbacks? How are they different? So we decided we'd pull them out, show them to you guys, do some of our own testing, and let you know uh, what we came up with. So, if you guys aren't familiar with Bovita packs, um, what they are known is a two-way, um, essentially a humidity stabilizer. You put these in any like closed environment, and if the humidity is too high, like let's say this one's actually at 62%, if your humidity is at 70% and you put this in, it'll bring the humidity down to 62%. If the humidity is 50%, it'll bring it up to 62 So it has the ability to both raise and lower relative humidity within the environment, the enclosed environment that you put it in. Now primarily people use this for plant material. Like as you can see here, I actually have both the Bovita on this side and this is the Integra Boost. Um, on the other side from Desicare and I put them in with a little bit of plant material and I also put some humidistats in there so you can see what the relative humidity is. Now these have actually already been in here for uh, a week so what I've been doing over the last week is I put some plant material in threw each one of these in a jar and I monitored day over day what happened to the relative humidity and initially what happened is it spiked uh, right when it was in there, just as you know, we just had a higher relative humidity, new plant material in there, and then they both slowly brought the humidity down. And um, I'll tell you some of the results of that here in a second. But uh, first, let me just um, touch base on both of these products. So here's the Bovita. It's like a, a little packet that has liquid in it, and here's the Integra Boost, which um, is also the 62. You'll notice it's a, a little bit larger. This is a, about a 60 gram, this is about a 67 gram. And you'll notice when you feel this, it's like a gel. Where this is a liquid, this one does feel more like there's jello inside of it. And it comes with a little indicator card, which um, uh, this is unique and new. This indicator card, it's a red dot right now. And what you do is you put this in with the Integra and you're able to see if the humidity is you know, staying consistent with what you want, even if you don't have a humidistat. So this actually, this red dot turns blue when it's time to change the pack out. And the pack's done um, and not able to keep the relative humidity where you need to uh, anymore. Whereas the Bovita, when it goes and it cannot produce or stabilize the humidity anymore, this liquid actually turns into a solid. So once it turns solid, then you know to switch it out. So um, now that you kind of know a little bit more about these products, I'm going to get back to what I was telling you earlier about them and what happened over the few days. So um, the first day, the relative humidity for both of them was hovering around 80%, and then it slowly dropped down. And it took about three days, or I think it was just about two to three days for the Bovita to get the relative humidity at 62%. And it took the Desicare about one day longer than the Bovita to get to that relative humidity. But now they're both there. You'll see this one says 61, 62. Um, they're staying within 1%. I mean, sometimes I walk up and this one's at, you know, 61, this one's at 62 or at 63, but it's all hovering. I mean, for the last three or four days, they've hovered between 63 and 61%. So I would say both of these are very accurate at keeping that relative humidity there. And just as an FYI, I put 300 grams of uh, plant material in each, just uh, and I weighed it out just to make sure that you know everything's on even playground um, as far as comparing them against each other. And you know, some people were just wondering about you know what are some other differences between these two packs. I mean, uh, I took a look at it. You know, I've used Bovitas in the past. I just started using the Integra, so it's still pretty new as it's a new product to the market. Um, I really like the Bovitas. I always thought they were a great product. Um, what Integra claims is that they said they know their unit takes a little bit longer to get to the relative humidity, but they say that, that their Integra lasts slightly longer than the Bovita. Now, I want to test that and see if it's true, but it's going to take a long time. So what I'm doing with these two guys is letting them keep going. I'm going to burp them a few times over the next couple months. I bet you it's going to take me a couple months to figure it out, but as soon as I have the details on that, I'll post them 
um, you know, as a link at the bottom or in the description of this video or on the growershouse.com website, which you can find. Um, so, now, other than that, I mean, I think one, one benefit that Integra said that they have over the Bovita, which some people, I've kind of seen this before a little bit, is that the Bovita, some people don't like the taste or smell that the plants have, plant material has, um, after using the Bovita for a long time. They said it, it kind of takes a little bit of the smell away from the plant unless you break it up again after that. So um, I started using the Integra. Um, I kind of understand what people are saying when they say this, but I don't think it's that big of a noticeable difference. I think some people might be a little more attuned to it, but uh, I couldn't notice that much of a difference. With the Integra, I mean, everything seems uh, so far, I've only been using it for about three weeks, but everything is seems to, like, I kind of understand what they're saying, but when I was using this, I just didn't notice any difference. So I would say that might be a plus for the Integra. Um, so other than that, um, these two packs cost um, pretty similar, although the Integra I think is coming in at a lower price right now. It's about 20% cheaper to go with the Integra packs over the Bovita ones. Um, so they're relatively relatively close in price, but I guess you, you know if you're buying these in bulk or in large quantities, you can see quite a, quite a bit of a difference with the Integra packs versus the Bovita. And I mean, other than that, you know, I think one of the last things that people have been asking us lately is which humidity should I buy for my plants that I'm curing. Uh, I, you know, there's a lot of people are saying 62% is the right humidity, but now a lot of people are saying 55% is actually a better humidity for curing your plants. So I'm not actually sure which one is better, but I would recommend staying in that range. These companies do make other humidity levels from like 84 to 50%, um, somewhere in that range, but stay around the 62 to 55% uh, humidity packs and you should be fine. Other than that, just always make sure to like have any plant material that you store in a cool dark place. When it gets too hot um, you run into issues with decarboxylization which just means that your plants essential oils get prematurely activated and you don't want that to happen. But um, other than that, these are two cool products. I'm really glad these came out. They make life so much easier. So. Um, if you're looking to buy either the Bovita or the Integra in the 62 or the 55% humidity, uh, relative humidity standards, you can get them at growershouse.com. We have bulk discounts, you know, all the good stuff, price be guarantee. Other than that, if there's any information or questions that you have, please call growershouse.com or email us at staff at growershouse.com. Happy growing.